Hi, this is writer-director Michael Matteo Rossi, and basically I just want to tell you why I chose the Black Magic for my first feature, Misogynist. Um, I'm sure that you've heard a lot of stuff, comparisons, how does it relate to, say, a higher grade camera like the RED and, you know, the Alexa and all of that. And understanding that we were on a limited budget, the thing that appealed to me the most at first about the Black Magic was the affordability of it. It was, you could buy it just right out. It was small, it was dynamic, it was sturdy. You know, we, um, we shot on a Super 35 sensor and the wide dynamic range of it was incredible. So, you know, for any kind of first time directors, cinematographers, all of that, if you really want to get your hands on something, I think that that's, um, the Black Magic is something that really is not going to kill your wallet, first of all. It's going to look amazing. Um, the, the last feature that I did, we shot on the, um, the Ari Alexa. And it's an amazing camera. Amazing. The, the, how it looks, it's incredible. Rich colors, dynamic range, the whole bit. The only problem is it is expensive. Even if you get a great deal, it is going to run you up. And it is bulky. It weighs a lot. Um, I remember when you know we couldn't do too many long takes. My DP had to take a break a lot. I mean, they can be, depending on what lenses, mounts, all of that, they can be, you know, 25, 30 pounds. So what you're having with the Black Magic is, again, something that is very compact. It can work. It's very, I think, user-friendly. And um, it's something that I absolutely would recommend, uh, especially for any kind of beginner, first-time feature uh, filmmakers or DPs. It's something that... Um, I think you should look into and hopefully this helped.